good morning dear students welcome back to physics class so today we are going to discuss about spherical mirrors last class already we discussed about the plane mirrors and image formation due to plane mirrors so today i am discussing about spherical mirrors classification of spherical mirrors how we define concave and convex mirror and uh, what are the different terminologies related to spherical mirrors see first spherical mirrors we know very well spherical mirrors is nothing but curved reflecting surfaces are called the spherical mirrors curve if any curved surface is there means if any curved reflecting surface is there means that should be spherical mirror so spherical mirrors are classified into two types one is concave mirror another one is convex mirror i mean concave mirror what is the meaning of concave mirror it is a one of the spherical mirror already i told spherical mirror is nothing but word if it is curved reflecting surface that it should be spherical mirror so concave mirror also one of the spherical mirror in which reflecting surface is directed inward or directed inside so for example if you see i am taking this uh, one curved reflecting surface it is a curved reflecting surface we have two surfaces there this see this side is one surface this side is another surface so for concave concave mirror this dotted lines outside side dotted lines is there this dotted line represents silver coat some coated surface this side light does not possess so some coated surface means this, this side light does not possess and this side light does not reflect it but you see this side this inside surface it is a reflecting surface so for that only concave mirror is nothing but it is a spherical mirror in which reflecting surface is directed inward or directed inside this side is a reflecting surface and this side is a silver coated surface now next one is convex mirror it is also one of the spherical mirror in which reflecting surface is directed outward or directed out outside for example if you if you take a a curved reflecting surface see now this inside surface is some silver coated surface so it is a convex mirror it is a convex mirror why because out directed outwards are directed outside directed outwards are directed outside see again i will recall convex mirror is nothing but it is a one of the spherical mirror in which reflecting surface is directed outward or directed outside see this outward surface is reflecting surface this dotted line represents the silver coated surface now here the outside outward surface only light rays will be reflected this side light rays does not reflect the light rays does not pass why right? because it's some coated surface next one i'm going to discuss some different terminologies related to the spherical mirror the first one is pole of the spherical mirror how we define pole of the spherical mirror so for example if i am taking a concave mirror these terminologies this all terminologies is same for both concave mirror and convex mirror for example if you take convex mirror also for example i am taking this is a convex mirror so inside surface is silver coated for convex mirror so for example i am taking here p uh see now pole of the spherical mirror is nothing but word the center of the spherical mirror is called pole of the spherical mirror. if you take concave mirror it is a concave why because inside surface is reflecting surface outside surface is silver coated surface but you take it is a convex mirror outside surface is reflecting surface inside surface is some coated surface so all terminologies of course whatever the terminology is there all terminology is same for both concave mirror and both convex mirror see now first one is pole of the spherical mirror the center of the spherical mirror is called the pole of the spherical mirror here also it is a pole of the spherical mirror for example next one uh, next terminology is and second one center of curvature actually it is the center of the sphere from which one we will mirror is cut see it is a, for example it is a sphere it is i will cut a half of part for sen- for sphere it is a center for example if you take here also i am taking one sphere for example i am taking here center of curvature i will cut a half of part then it becomes half then it becomes half for example for just you consider this half on this right side half only for example if you take this side dotted lines then it becomes like this see like this yes now it is a concave mirror why because inside surface is a reflecting surface outside surface is silver coated surface so it is actually center of curvature is nothing, nothing but it is a center of the sphere from which mirror is cut so next one focus the midpoint between pole of the spherical mirror to the center of curvature is called focus of the spherical mirror if you take this is a concave mirror so it is a pole of the spherical mirror for example if i am taking this is a center of curvature and uh, it is a focus 
the midpoint between pole of the spherical mirror and center of curvature is called focus of the spherical mirror next one is focal length focal length is nothing but the distance between pole of the spherical mirror to the focus of the spherical mirror is called focal length of the spherical mirror for example if you take a it is a concave mirror it is a pole center of curvature focus and it is a c distance between pole of the spherical mirror to focus of the spherical mirror is called focal length next one is radius of curvature the distance between pole of the spherical mirror to the center of curvature is called radius of curvature so it is a pole of the spherical mirror center of curvature focus see the distance between pole of the spherical mirror to the center of curvature is called radius of curvature these are the different terminologies related to the spherical mirrors what are the terminologies one is pole of the spherical mirror another one is center of curvature another one is um, focus another one is uh, focal length another one is radius of curvature so these are the different terminologies related to the spherical mirror these terminologies same for both concave and convex mirrors thank you